Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and I have some tools that um, might be useful to you in playing games of Warhammer or any other games that would have similar uh, scenarios. Uh, but they are not necessary, but I think you might agree that they could easily make a game go faster and with less arguments. <laughs> So the first one that I want to show you is this little tool. I've used it for many games and it is the Army Painter Target Lock. Have you ever played a game with terrain and shooting? If you have and it requires line of sight, then this guy is so nice. So nice. It goes from can you see him? Can they not see him? Do they get around that corner? Do they not get around that corner? Is that piece of terrain in the way? Is it not in the way? This little guy figures out the questions you have in seconds rather than minutes and in such a way that there is no argument. You can both see it with your eyes. The second thing that I'm going to show you are these guys. A company called Templar Miniature Wargaming sent me these transparent objective markers for both Age of Sigmar and for Warhammer 40,000. And though I do like three-dimensional objectives, I have got to say that just the speed at which you can see whether models are in range or not in range of either these six inch objective markers or three inch objective markers for Age of Sigma or three inch objective markers from a 40 millimeter objective for Warhammer 40,000 make them so lovely to use. As a tournament organizer, I would also use these optional sticky pads. Now the objective markers themselves are perfectly fine for games at home uh, because really you are not going to be moving them around and they don't move around when you're moving models on top of them. But the reusable sticky pads mean I can set the objective marker on the battlefield and let other players fight over them without having to worry about them knocking the objectives out of place. I would not call them cheap accessories since you will want more than one of them, but for what they do to me, it's completely worth the cost. They're anti-slip, they're anti-scratch, um, the top surface, not the bottom surface that has uh, all of the markings. They're anti-fingerprint, fully flexible, and anti-crease. And I think I'll be able to use them for a long time. And since I'm not going to be taking off their protective shield, even though it makes it mildly less um, see-through, I'm not going to be taking off their protective shields uh, until I have to. Like, they're really scratched up, so I think I shall be using them for a long period of time. They've only recently started up this company, so I'll have... Um, all of their info in the description below so if you wanted them uh, you could go ahead and get them. The third thing is really for morale purposes and it's this, okay? Candy. Because just imagine this, someone makes an entirely abysmal roll <laughs> at an incredibly crucial time. This is when you offer the candy as a form of a mutual understanding. Believe you me, the roll isn't quite so terrible if you get a piece of chocolate or candy as a reward. <laughs> or like strawberries, or grapes, chips, something special in a bowl that they earn when fate punches them in the face. That's all I wanted to help you out with. Having more fun, avoiding arguments. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Okay, one last thing. When you lose a game, not when you win the game, but when you lose the game, it's incredibly important for yourself and for your opponent that you congratulate them on their win.